I'm Dan Chateau. I manage sales here for Mad Tree Brewing. I take pretty much everywhere east and west of the brewery and north up to Lebanon and you know just basically that 275 loop and just try to bring beer to the suburbs. Uh, pretty much just carry on the vision of Mad Tree and the mission and just let people know who we are and what we do and why we do it. Uh, so we're Mad Tree Brewing Company and uh, our basic uh, mission is to be the most respected regional brewery. Uh, those things are going to come down to quality of beer. It's going to come down to being a pillar of the community. Uh, we want to make sure that we give back, do a lot of nonprofit and charity work, then also be one of the best employers in the region. Ohio beers come a long way. Uh, it's certainly ridiculous compared to when we started in 2000. 13, uh, you know, we always have these huge breweries out of like Colorado, California, San Diego, Oregon, and you know, those are breweries definitely to look up to. And being in Ohio now and being brewers here and trying to do the best that we can, it's been really great to see basically the progress that, you know, not only we've made, but also the other breweries have made in the area. So just not even locally, but you know, you've got like Jackie O's and Fatheads. Then you also have Butcher and Brewer um, out of Cleveland. Uh, a lot of really cool breweries out there, a uh, little fish, you know, and just we're all just trying to make our own imprint basically on Ohio beer and uh, be innovative and see what we can do and how we can help other people. Cincinnati breweries are very much, you know, friendly towards each other. Uh, we kind of have this motto that all ships rise. Um, any way that we can help out another brewery with it might be something that we've learned or, you know, if somebody's keg cleaner goes down, maybe we can help clean some kegs really anything, just kind of piggyback off of each other and help market each other and just, you know, be a very good community together. I think that that's what's going to help grow the product in general, just craft beer overall. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that have not experienced craft beer yet in Cincinnati and it's a very cool thing to get a part of, not only just the different flavors that are out there, but the culture that is in breweries and tap rooms. You know, it just really shows Cincinnati what we are and, you know, since Cincinnati's become a very important player in craft beer in Ohio, you've got a lot more visitors to the area and, you know, what we can show people that Cincinnati's doing is, you know, very fun for us to be able to show what we do and who we are through our flavor, uh, through how we do beer and how we present it. And then, again, the community in general we just have a really good time with each other, try to build each other up, and basically it's just like a big giant family. So There's a ton of different beers uh, that I would love for everybody to try, but I think one that stands out in my mind is June. It's a gin barrel aged Kolsch, and we actually do this in collaboration with Watershed Distilling in Columbus. So they take bourbon barrels and then age their gin in them, and then when they're finished with it, we take their bourbon barrel aged gin barrels and put our Kolsch into it, add juniper berries and ginger, carbonated really high, super effervescent, very, very crisp and refreshing and it's just very unique, especially for a barrel aged style to be that light and crisp. It just shows kind of what we do and how innovative we can be and how we just want to push boundaries on what we can do. A lot of people will know this about me, but I would go for some bumbleberry from Fatheads if I needed to. Uh, choose something other than Mad Tree. Uh, Bumbleberry is a delicious beer. I love that stuff. Uh, Raz Wheat, Jackie O's is super delicious too. And if it's going to be a Mad Tree, I'd say probably Lyft. Buckeye Beer Bash is a really cool idea. Uh, you know, Jungle Gems does a great job of supporting uh, very large brands and the best of beer all over the place and also locally and then also to bring it to Ohio specific is very cool, very unique idea and being able to represent Ohio is really cool, especially if you can do it all in one place. And it's also really nice to see people in the industry that you know we've built relationships with that we don't see all the time. So to have them all at a festival and being able to see like their progression over the years uh, with their beer and their marketing and their branding and everything that they've done, I think it's really cool to be able to come back every year and just see the progress that Ohio Beer is making and then also be able to share that with the people that would be coming uh, to the Bunk, uh, Buckeye Beer Bash, maybe from out of state, just to be able to try you know, the different Ohio brews that are out there. Working with Jungle Gyms is probably the best thing that any brewery could do 
um, anywhere really. I mean, Jungle Gyms being a ridiculously large uh, supporter of not just beer in general, but you know, liquors and wines and different foods from all over the country and all over the world. Uh, Jungle Gyms does something extremely unique uh, that anybody would be proud to be a part of. Uh, the people that run Jungle Gyms and work for Jungle Gyms are all top of the line. They know what they're doing and to gain their respect is uh, everything for a brewer and to be able to build that relationship with the people in Jungle Gyms is uh, something that you know nobody can take from you and it's just really cool. They help us to make sure that we're being innovative and push boundaries and uh, try to come up with different unique ideas for events and ways to engage consumers and also their staff. I mean, it's just a very cool, uh, cool thing to be able to do and certainly proud of it.